Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cabaret Hall. Please, give it up for your first act. A working girl and a lady of pleasure, all the way from the Deep South, Miss Sammy Mavis Jr. Hello, you beautiful people. Thank you so much for coming. You're the greatest audience that I have ever seen. I know that you won't heckle me. I know you're not that mean. Without you, I'd be nothing like a cold without a sneeze, like a bridegroom with no boner, or a dog without no fleas. This is no children allowed, OK? You're the greatest audience that I have had by far. You touch me like my brother, my uncle, and my par. Without you, I'd go crazy like a pirate with no limp, like a stalker with no victim, or a hoe without no pimp. It's lovely, isn't it? What is a star without her fans? You cannot win without the all so rans. I'd be so lonely without you. Like a cow without its udders, a glue sniffer with no glue. Boo hoo, you hoo. You're the greatest audience that I have had all day. I've locked the doors to guarantee that you don't get away. Without you, I'd be nothing like a dealer with no stash. Like a church without no sinners, or hepatitis with no rash. Like a diner with no dinners, like a raffle with no winners. Like Berlin without Berliners, like a trailer park with no. I am so glad you made it here tonight. Trash! Yeehaw! Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, this is very exciting. My name is Sammy Mavis Jr., and I'm here to guide you through the next hour of a show called Cabaret Whore, which uh, the girls and I did about two years ago. Now, normally there are seven Cabaret Whores. Uh, we brought the ones with us who still fit the costumes. <laughs> so that's three of us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now, you may not know, because obviously the festival is in full swing. Can you give me a cheer if you're in a show at the Edinburgh Festival? Very good. You've still got energy. Well done. And anyone who's not in a show, anyone a real person? That's good. So all the people with shows, these are the people you have to fly on the way out, okay? Can fly the fuck out of them. Now, what you may not know is this show is also being filmed uh, by uh, the lovely uh, Lucas and Paul here. And it's going to be shown in Odeon Cinemars. Yes. I'm going global. Um, so I didn't want those people watching at home to be feeling left out. So what I'd love to do, Lucas, do you think you could turn around and, and, and show people this beautiful audience? And will you just, after three, wave and say, hello, Odeon Cinemars. One, two, three. Hello, Odeon Cinemars. Oh, that's lovely. Let's patronize them for a little bit longer. Because I was going to do this whole kind of like call and response, you know, and go, hello, bathing stoke. But no, there could be nobody there. It could just be like this empty cinema and then one lone person jacking off in the back row. And we just wouldn't know. Isn't that weird? I think that's very weird. So hello, lone person jacking off in the back row. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Now let's stop. Um, so, yeah. So um, I, as you may tell from my accent, I am not from this part of the world. I was born in America, but I live in London. And um, I've lived in London for about 15 years, and I stay in this beautiful, I don't know if you'll know it, but it's a tiny, tiny village uh, called Brixton. And it's so sweet, it's so cute, and I've kind of become friendly with uh, the local council. So whenever I leave for long periods and I come back to make me welcome, they tie these little bunches of fresh flowers onto the railings around the roadside and up around the lampposts and everything. It's just, you know, and sometimes they don't even take them off for weeks, you know. They're just, they're just there to love me. So that's how much love you've got to give me because none of us had enough love in our childhood, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you know that. There is a reason why I'm here prostituting myself in this, I don't know what this was. Was this some kind of... This, what was this? Is this a dissection room? So dead people were chopped up in here. Nice, nice, good. There's a joke about dying, but I'm not going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, because I have material. It's true. Was that a s Excuse me? Was that a s already this early on? Really? Uh, could you do me a favor, honey, because my skirt keeps running up. Could you just give us a little tug? Just, just a tiny... Thank you. You're a complete finisher, aren't you, sir? It's great. <laughs> It was very nice. Thank you. I may need to come back to you. I'm sorry. The front row could see what I had for lunch. It's not nice. Well, it was very nice. It was a, it was a, it was tortilla. Tortilla. Are you one of those people that says tortilla or tortilla? Tortilla. You're a normal person. 
Yeah, he's a normal person, ladies and gentlemen. So here I am, and um, uh, as you can tell, I'm a very deeply spiritual person, which is why I'm here. Um, are you deeply spiritual people? Good. You're dead people. You're dead people in the dissection room. Excellent. Do you, have, do you have a lie awake at night, sir? You do? We have so much in common. We really, we should quit this place and work together. No, but do you have a lie awake at night and, you know, kind of like ponder on the final irony of the etymology of the word scatology and eschatology and wonder if that's God's way of saying the world is going to be shit? Okay, everyone, it's called Google. Go home and Google. I uh, don't know, but, you know, it's a tough life, right? And I didn't know that I was going to end up in this beautiful venue with all of you. And there is a story to my life, but I simply don't have time to tell all of you. So uh, because this is a cabaret, as luck would have it. Oh, before I do this, I have been told to keep this clean uh, this afternoon because of the ODM. So um, if there's anything in the song that is offensive, will you be honest with me and tell me at the end if there's anything? Because it's fuck all I can do about it, right? But then I'll know for... Is that a deal? Will you tell me if there's anything offensive? Okay, I don't want to offend people. I can't help it, but I don't want to. That is, my heart is in the right place. So lovely. So, um, yes, it's a cabaret. As luck would have it, I have written a song about it. Thank you. When I was a little girl in the trailer park, Papa had no money for toys. He said, Sammy, you can play with yourself. But don't play with the trailer boys. When I was a little girl in the trailer park, Papa had no money for food. He said, Sammy, stay away from those trailer boys. If you mess with them, you'll just get screwed. But I couldn't help myself. Bobby was the ringleader. You remember Bobby, right? Yeah? Yeah. Bobby always used to go first. <laughs> he was so sweet. Yes, we play jump my bones and dip your wick. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Ride the rod and make our two ends meet. Trim my muff and shoot the moon. Shake your sheets and dunk your spoon. Park your car in my back street. These are just childhood games, okay? There's no need to worry. When I was a little girl in the trailer park, Papa had no money for rent. He said, Sammy, stay away from those trailer boys. Their intentions are not innocent. Oh, come on, Daddy, really, you're so silly. We just played hanky-panky and giblet pie. Scuba dive with your third eye. Do the hokey-pokey mattress jig. Sweep my chimney, ring my bell. Romping hay, put the devil into hell. Hide the sausage, poke the pig. Now, you know poke the pig, don't you? You don't? I thought it was everyone's favorite. After swing ball. When I was a little girl in the trailer park, Papa used to make me cry. He said, Sammy, for the love of God, I'm asking you one more time, stop playing with those boys. But we had other games to try. Yes, we played honk your horn, go for a ride. Mean pot ranger and lost girl guide. Feed my kitty and lick my plate. Sink your soldier, bump and grind. Burp the worm with the old cheese rind. Knock down ginger at the pearly gate. When I was a little girl in the trailer park, Papa had no money for drink. Very sad. He said, Sammy, it's time that you paid your own way. And with these words, he gave a wink. He said, go sell your wares and pimp your tail. Put your peachy cheeks on sale. Show me the money or I'll show you the door. So that's when I done left that park. Quit my trailer on the cover of dark. And I never saw them trailer boys no more. Oh, but I still think of them when I'm hard at work, sir. I think of all the things they taught me. Each time I buff my brains and grease the wheel, bash my beaver with a slippery eel, stuff the taco and buckaroo. Sauce a clam and lift a leg, lay some pop on pumps and let my daddy was right, I sure got screwed. Yeah, my daddy was right, I sure got screwed. <laughs> now, okay, you have to be honest with me now, please. Of course, there's no point in asking them because they can't hear me. But did you, um, was there anything in that song that was mortally offensive? You promised me you're okay. Sir, you are? Are you wearing red trousers so I trust you? Okay, so I can do a dirtier song next. Okay, I'm just checking. No, it's true. No, I have to check these things. I don't want to offend people, you know, because it's cheap and 
nasty and fun. So, um, you know, it's, oh God, you know, it's so easy, isn't it, to blame your parents for the kind of mess that you get yourself into because it's so much cheaper than therapy. But I, I kind of knew that my daddy loved me. I kind of knew he loved me because before he kicked me off the trailer park, he gave me this wonderful advice, and I wanted to share it with you. And he said, he said, Sammy, you, oh, God love you. You have to find something worth loving inside of yourself, in your heart and in your soul. And sometimes it's really hard to find that, folks, you know, because you have to dig deep. You have to push past all the psychosis and depression and despair and heartache and self-loathing and self-mutilation. And, and if you really dig deep into your heart and you don't find nothing worth loving, you're fucked. <laughs> and he never said what to do next. So, you know, I just spent my whole life looking for, for a sense of purpose, and I had to look outside of myself for a sense of purpose. And I'm very glad I did, uh, because there is a uh, new man in my life. Yes, I have reached that age where it gets a woo. Thank you very much. Um, and, uh, and he's here uh, this evening. What's your name, honey? Liam, Liam, I'm sorry, I have a terrible, terrible memory uh, for, for names, so, yeah, I've got a great memory for penises, though, so you're lucky. Um, so, Liam, Liam, do you remember, um, do you remember what you said to me, what you asked me last night? It was just before you passed out and I took your wallet. Do you remember? No? That's the correct answer, no. It was a very long show if you try to play along. No, no, Liam... <laughs> Liam, Liam, was, Liam was so sweet. Take no, take no, my body language is not involved in this conversation. Uh, Liam, you said to me, Sammy, how many men, how many men have you been intimate with? And do you remember my answer? No. I said everything before you, Liam, was a dress rehearsal. I know, and he believed me. <laughs> so sweet. Uh, but you know, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been around the block a few times, and you know, I have made love to a lot of men, and I, I've had a lot of sex, is what I'm saying, you know. Uh, but I've loved them. I've loved every single one of them, and they are now part of me, and they're now part of you as well, Liam. Um, <laughs> and people say to me sometimes, they say, Sammy, Sammy, are you stupid? <laughs> and I say, no. No. No, I choose to be exploited. There's no punchline there, folks. That's my life. That's my life. Do you, do you know that? You heard of that book called The Secret? Do you know that? Have you heard of that? That's because it's a secret. But The Secret says you can have anything or anyone you want. You just have to stare at them for long enough. And yes, just like that, Liam. And then it will come to you. And that's what I did because I, I woke up one morning and I just said, I want to be in a room full of beautiful people. And here I am with you. So thank you. Thank you for being here and thank you for being beautiful. Some of you are more beautiful than others, but that's fine. That's nature. Um, so I have to go. I have to go because there are three of us, and I have to let the others have their fair crack of the whip. Um, but I'm going to miss you guys. So what I wanted to do was leave you with something that was legal and that you could kind of take home with you. So my, my last song is really just kind of an invitation to love. And uh, look, you guys in the audience cinema, you've probably had a beer, you've had popcorn, and it's like 9 o'clock at night. We're, we're like 4 o'clock in the afternoon here. This is the tea drinking time, you know, this is not... So these guys are really pushing it to come out to a cabaret show. They deserve... A, can you, everybody in the cinemas, can you now give a round of applause to the people in the room? It's like a 1980s uh, telethon, isn't it? It's all going wrong. Um, so yeah, so this is nice. So we're, you know, the, just this is a song. It's a gift for me to you. Um, oh, and I should uh, mention that um, you might know the song, in fact, uh, but please don't join in. Thank you. So yeah, so during the song, just reach out, reach out and touch the person next to you. We're dimming the lights so that they can't see you. Steal. That's oh, look at you. That's great. Hands where I can see them now. This is a family show. Great. Oh, that's lovely. You're. Oh, oh the, the, the cameraman just got his butt stroked. That makes me very, that makes me very happy. It was worth getting out of bed for, right? You can reach me by railway. You can reach me by trailway. You can reach me in an aeroplane if you just expand your mind. 
You can reach me in a caravan For a threesome with an Arab man Cause I'm horny and desperate Please do me if you can You can rim me in a mini mart Two for one would make my fanny fart You can finger all the merchandise Cause it's buy one, get one free Well, we can spit roast in the afternoon Invite the neighbors round for strip pontoon First mahjong, then bukkake, please Beat me if you can There are miles and miles of penis I just can't get my leg over try it gay yay but i might not be sober i am never sober you can windsurf into my chuff make me scream until i've had enough use a condom or a big balloon and post me on your tube well you can fix me with an oven glow I'll keep it simple, we could just make love, Liam. I don't care how you do me, just don't forget the lube. Oh, you gotta rim me and suck me and lick me and fuck me and cag me and lacy. I'm so glad this is going out live to certain audience cinemas. <sighs> never make the edit. I don't care how you do me. Just do me if you can. Thank you so much. You've been amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present the very best in international cabaret from around the globe. Please welcome onto the stage star of Off, Off, Off Broadway, making her final farewell comeback tour, Miss Bernie St. Clair! final chord. This is my big opening. Now the journey has been hard. I've been living off my talent. Cigarettes and dog food. <laughs> to my agent, my director, my designer, the critics, my ex-husband and anyone who ever rejected me. Tonight, you're getting Scrooge, you bet your sweet ass, if you've ever hated anyone, then this song's for you. Call off the casket, send back the hearse, and don't blow a gasket. I've no need for a nurse. I'll die before I leave this stage, because I'm a diva of a certain age. Huh? To the people who said I'd never make it on stage and in bed. I tell you, I can still fake it. Ha! I'll work for the minimum wage. Cause I'm a diva, diva, diva of a certain age. Oh, look at this place. And look, the venue is so beautiful. At last, my big time has arrived. Look at you and you and you and you and you. My fans, so loyal and so dutiful. At least the ones of you who have survived. 
we've got working electric. It's so much better than the free print. And toilets that actually flush. Well, some of the time, don't get apoplectic. There's no need to rush. Release this tiger from her cage. Because I'm a diva of a certain age. Now, I refuse to give in when my sphincter gives out. With collagen implants, Mwah! I can still make a pound. I look a lot like Elaine Page. I live next door to Elaine Page. Oh, hang it, you know the truth. I wish I could be Elaine Page. Who oh, is a diva of a certain? Where's my fucking curtain? Cause I'm a diva, 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 diva of a certain oh. Hold the front page! Oh. oh, hello. Hello, little birdie. Hello, little birdie. What are you doing out of your nest, little birdie? You can't be out, you're too cold. You, you, the seagulls would get you, and they're enormous. Shall we find someone to put you back in your little nesty? I think I know who to go to, too. We know he's friendly, because Sammy told us. Hello, would you? My little bird has just fallen. And you know what they, could you put a little, oh, gentle, 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 she's just. <laughs> She's only a chick. Just put her back in. Just put a little, little back in. Just gently, gently, gently. Oh, it's so nice to have human contact. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. What's, what's your, I don't care. <laughs> thank you so much. You're, now listen, I'm, uh, I, something strange happened during my opening number. This beautiful girl with the blonde hair, and she's lovely. She's got a beautiful smile on her. And she was reading her Edinburgh Fringe program during my song. And <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, I know she's a nice person because she's wearing a rosary as a fashion garment. <laughs> but I'm not in the Friends Guide. So who are we looking at? <laughs> who what? Come on, let's have a look at this piece of shit. Who is... You were on C for comedy. Is that, is that, is that trying to hurt me? <laughs> trying to, was it was a band man. I know, he's beautiful. I love him. What, what were you looking at? Please tell me. Tell me you were searching. Were you looking for me? Were you looking to see if I had my own solo show? I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, I thank you so much. I don't have my own solo show. But if you give me your address, I'll come and sing in your bathroom. <laughs> okay. But it's, I have a, you know, it's a strange thing about performance in live buildings is so we can see you. <laughs> it's not television. Even you, you, look, stop looking at your friend and necking on the back row and look at me. I, I'm big. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm Bernie Sinclair, but you knew that already. And um, it's so nice to be here in the Edinburgh Fringe. But, and and um, uh, so he was just looking for a drink. Every distraction you see, I just anything that's not about me, it hurts. It hurts. You can have a drink. That's okay. You just give me one too, little boy. You're you're young enough to be to be my landlord. Um, <laughs> So, ladies and germs, um, so I, I, it's so nice to be here amongst my friends and, and my fans, especially my new fan here in the front row, in the curly hair, in the religious artifact, and, um, <clears throat> and my family. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cry so early. My family, you are my family. You, it's in every one of you, I love you. I love you, even the man sleeping on the back row. I love him too. <laughs> it's very passive aggressive heckle. I love him too, and, and you know why? Because, you know, I have a daughter. Of course I have a daughter, but you know what kids are like, you know, you give them the world and, and then they sue you. And does anybody here have children? Do you have, you, you have a children, you're like, you're, life's hard, isn't it? 
Yes, I can tell by your little face. Look at you. You suffered. You suffered, haven't you? Suffered at the hands of your ungrateful children. But, you know, I, I, because, you know, someone's got to bury you, right? Um, so I want to do a song, but the, I, this is a thing about cabaret. It's just two types of cabaret, okay? So there's cabarets where you stand, and there's cabarets when you sit. And I need to sit. <laughs> so you, you're all having a nice sit now, but I haven't had a sit since the late 80s. So, a uh, lovely strapping boy, could you just go and get my stool? It's not the real stool, it's a sample of the stool. <laughs> it's the only joke in the show, so enjoy it. <laughs> just, just there, that's beautiful. Oh, a jaunty angle, too. Come, come on, come on. Oh, that's so nice. I know you want it. You can't, you can't take it home, you can't take it home. It's, it's just good for you. It's bless you, bless your little, your little attempt at a beard. How, you're, how old are you, honey? 20. Oh, you, I could divide you into me several times. <laughs> sometimes I, sometimes I say things out loud by accident. I do go back. Thank you. Give him a round of applause. He's so nice. You know, it really reminds me. Reminds me of my ex-husband, it was such a strange thing that he was in the bath and the, I didn't know the cable was just over and I walked by and he, he just died. <laughs> Sorry, did I say that out loud? I don't know. No, listen, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh God, that's good. I'm, I'm gonna level with you nice people. And I, uh, you know, my daughter, uh, who some of you may have seen on uh, the sidewalk, um, she, uh, you know, she may be a, a money-grabbing, backstabbing, ungrateful pariah. But I still love her. It's like, it's like I can, I can almost see the crib, you know, the little crib in front of me, and her little beautiful face looking up. And I look to the doorway, and there are all the nannies waiting. If you had not been born, my life would have been better. <laughs> my uterus untorn, not stretched out like some second hand old sweater. But I love you, so for you I give my all, that's how it goes. And I need you, you're the bat, so I play ball, but no one knows. The sacrifice of a martyr, I mean a mother never shows For all the sleepless nights One time I even changed your diaper The stretch marks and the fights You hit me with your vomit like a sniper But I forgive you You took away my figure and the best of me and I let you So finish off the job and take the rest of me I almost don't regret Never will forget Having you Yes, thanks to you My life has been a right off With each new day It's harder to keep living Before you There were men and fame to fight off but now I'd even struggle just to keep on giving When you began to menstruate I was so proud I cried Then love turned into hate When life began for you, for me, it died But I support you I mean, I literally bought you all you own And are you grateful? No! I'm lucky if you even try to phone I almost don't regret Never will forget Nine hours in labor Fifteen years in rehab Sixty thousand dollars on a pony Precious you And when you're old and gray And you've been left on the shelf ha! Your friends are dead or gay And you've no one to blame but yourself you are old, 
you're invisible you are cold and you are risible a life has passed you by and you wish you could die the friends that once loved you now look right through you you can count on one finger the guys will still do ya that's the deal my girl enjoy it while you can i gave you my whole world though let's face it you were never in the plan i almost don't regret i ain't finished yet i only had you for a bet wish i could forget I'm sorry, could you? I'm sorry. Weighed down by my emotions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, just, it's never all right, but it's better now. Thank you. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> you good? Is this what you planned when you woke up this morning? Uh, not exactly, but. Not exactly, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I have nothing planned for this moment. I just... Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> They're so young and cavalier. Put your stool away and stop messing about. Come on. That's, uh, ridiculous children. In my show. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you. All right, skinny Melunkry. Come back. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You couldn't, could you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Got to get it while you can, folks. Um, thank you very much. We'll see if you know what the center is or whether you dress to the left or the right. <clears throat> oh, he dresses to the back. That's, oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Go sit down. You're useless to me. I do apologize. I pick very badly. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have to go. I have to go. I can't stay with you beautiful people. But, you know, it's a funny thing. I was saying to Elaine just the other, well, I was shouting from the top deck of a bus, but she heard me. She has enormous ears, you know. It's just a shame about the radio show. And I said, I said, you know, I said to Elaine, I said, honey, you know, we're such big stars. You know, do you think that success has changed us? And she said, she said, she said, no. She said, no, you know, she said, it just brings us closer to you, the little people. And, and the people, you're really little all the way over in Durham or wherever you are. You're tiny. Look at you. Stop necking in the back row. Disgusting. Um. And it's the thing that little people, they say to me, you know, Bernie, you're so beautiful. You're so talented. You didn't need to have a child, and yet you gave of yourself. You gave of yourself to this beautiful child. And I say, you know, it's not just one-sided because she gave me something, too. And I think it's so important for those of you who have had children to realize that you, you get your chance to learn again, to learn again, you know, to have your life again vicariously through making your child do everything you didn't do. And, like, phone their mother! And... My daughter actually really opened up a whole new world to me, and it was such a beautiful world. And I, I want to share with you something that she gave me, because I think it's made me a better person. And I know that you all want to be better people, too. Especially you. Thank you. <clears throat> when I look back at the life that I've led, Opportunities that pass me by, mistakes that I made, strangers I laid, makes a grown woman want to cry. But despite my regret, I find there is light at the end of my autumn days. Because when I feel down, I just pick up the phone and I order in some class A's. I tried every treatment to try to stay young. I injected my face with a cow. But who needs the doctor when your dealer's on speed dial and it's two for one on meow meow? When my ticker gets lazy, my memory hazy, no Zima frame I'll need. I'll be first in the line with a liter of wine and 
a kilo of Moroccan speed. Just give me the drugs and I'll come shining through. Pop me a pill and I'll be good as new. Roll me a joint and I will last all through the night. A bucket of vodka and I will sleep tight. When I'm stuck at a party with some tedious boy, I employ a little diplomacy. Things will go with a swing, whee, when I empty my ring. And we drop a tab of ecstasy. With all these distractions, I can get me some action. With Viagra, everyone's key. If you pass out before me, I'll just make a date with my good old friends, Coco and Ketamine. Just give me the drugs and I'll come charging through. Pop me a pill and I'll be good as new. Life's but a crap. But I found immortality. When friends kick the bucket, I say, oh, fuck it, and take LSD. <gasps> and suddenly, the heavens are open. And finally, I understand. The clouds are smiling. Your faces are melting. There are maggots crawling out of my hands. Oh, God, no, somebody make it stand. Powder and pop, boxes of snuff. <gasps> They're my favorite daily diet. Gizmos and bogs. Yeah, okay, look, I know that it's wrong, but you won't know till you try it. When I'm practically dead in my hospital bed, don't die or look bereft. There won't be a thing going on in this head. Cause I've already left. Just give me the drug, goddammit, and I'll come charging through. Pop me a pill, and I'll be good as you. Take my advice as I draw my final breath. A bottle of vodka, two grams of good speed, a bucket of morphine. Oh, that's all that I need. A bottle of morphine, diazepam, a gallon of night nurse, a well-hung black man. Well, it is my last meal. And get your kicks while you can. Good night. And now for our headline act. Catapulted from the streets of Montmartre to the glittering stages of Saint-Tropez and Biarritz. She has sung for de Gaulle and acted for Truffaut in films such as Les Amants du Fromage and Ma Vie est une Baguette. Our next act is no stranger to the limelight. Outstanding, said the Times. Terrific, the Independent and baffling the stage. From the dark heart of Paris, she is La Poule Plombe. For I exist to exercise my pain. I open up a vein and blood pulls from my wrist. Oh! By idiots, I've been dismissed. Beheaded like Jean the Baptiste. My entrails on the floor. It is a metaphor. If you get my gist, your people you. Me, your thirst for culture I quench. Though you torment and abuse me, I pay the price. 
nice because I'm French. The critics mock, but I persist. I laugh and say hasta la vista. I sing and dance for love and wear a velvet glove to hide my iron fist. The audience have gone off piste, and I am loudly jeered and hissed. And like a dying swan, I proudly soldier on until I get a blister. I give my all to you, your thirst for culture I quench. On broken glass I crawl for you, I do it all because I'm French. Il comprend rien, je suis artiste. Mon cœur est comme un cordioniste. Je ne suis pas à l'aise parce que je suis française. Ma vie est tellement triste. In Paris, when I sing, people weep. In Marseille, when I sing, people weep. In Edinburgh, when I sing, I weep. I am an open sore. Can you smell the rotting stench? Je suis votre cabaret hall, a bright star in Judy Dench. That British theatre mensch, who oh, is not French. Je suis artiste. I am an artist. I could sing before I could talk. I felt fully formed and in full song from my mother's frou-frou. Years later, they are my placenta in the Pompidou. I sang on the street corners of Paris, songs of joy and happiness, until she came. Piaf. <laughs> Little sparrow bitch. You know what they call her? La mom piaf, the little sparrow. You know what they call me? La poule plombe. It does not really translate my set idea, the frumpy pigeon. <laughs> piaf and I were friends, huh? We were the greatest double act since Josephine and Bonaparte, Marat and Sad, Cork and Vin. <laughs> Until she took from me my life and my love and my little black dress. I, I could not stay at Paris, Madame and Monsieur, and so I had to go somewhere where culture was yet to be created. England. <laughs> Believe me, you are very uh, much higher culturally in the Scotland than in the England. But I know that the English, the, they do not like the French. Um, C'est pas grave, we don't like them either. But um, I'm going to put down my knife because I want us to be friends and because it is an extraneous prop that will get in the way of my next song. <laughs> Maestro. This may be deja vu, and I don't want to make a fuss, but strictly entre nous, what has English given us? We gave you bon vivant, the croissant and grand prix, but the words you've given us prove useless foes and me. We gave you bel esprit, we gave you c'est la vie, you gave us flip-flop, we le flip-flop. We gave you chairs along, we gave you French chansons, you gave us hip-hop, we the hip-hop. No, s'il vous plaît, for la crème brûlée, you do not speak our language. This is the price we pay, you get foie gras, and we get le sandwich. Le sandwich, huh? 
Take back your babysitter, your bestseller and jukebox. Keep your driving drugs to your cheeseburger on the rocks. We don't want the merchandising, the fast food, the stress. You've sabotaged our language, left our pronouns in distress. We gave you fiancé, we gave you lingerie. You gave us jogging, we the jogging. Agent provocateur, mais quel horror! You gave us snogging, lo snogging. It is absurd. You steal all our words and have carte blanche to use them. Your accents all are merde. You misspell all of our words and abuse them. You abuse them. Le Congo, le camping, le cash flow, le checkout. I don't care where you put them, just please God get them out. The racket, the rip off, where we'll discharge your end. And before you ask, I don't want anything. Polo weekend. We gave you abattoir. We gave you ape memoir. You gave us White House, Mary White House. We gave you raison d'être. We gave you the French letter. You gave us brown sauce. HP brown sauce. If you really care, show some savoir faire and make la vie on rosy. Take something we can spare. We'll throw in the affair. He may be out of politics, but he has not left the country yet. Take Sarkozy. Mesdames et Messieurs, I should like to say something that I do not often say. Merci. Um, people often tell me I am depressive, but it's not true, I'm just French. And sometimes I feel things so deeply in my heart, and in my heart, <laughs> that I have to hurt somebody, and sometimes that person is, is me. But um, we are nearing the end of uh, La Pièce, the show, and uh, I work very hard on this uh, uh, cabaret or we have been doing it for um, five years and uh, the other two are very lazy. <laughs> I do all of the marketing and everything and um, I really, I love to sing so I really don't ask for anything in return from you save that you think about me every waking moment of your life, dream about me every night and go online and download the album. <laughs> but. Um, you may be thinking, oh, it is the Edinburgh Fringe, you know, every show has to be an hour, but we actually have uh, the rest of the day in this building, and, um, you know, I, I could sing for you for the rest of my life, but I don't want to. <laughs> and I feel it's only fair that I am honest with you, because not all of you, most of you have been wonderful, but there are a few people in this room, and you know who you are. It is with great sadness that I dedicate, could I have a tiny little bit more of m myself, please? I, I feel I need more of me. I'm overwhelmed. It is with great sadness that I dedicate my final song to you, my audience. <laughs> thought you might be special, but no. Now there's nothing left for me to do but go. They say true love can happen quickly. When it does, it never ends. But I can't bring myself to lie and say we'll still be friends. Please, let's not pretend. You will get over me. There are other stars in other shows to see Though none of them as talented as me Go find yourself another singer Go sing another song But don't forget that you and you alone were in the wrong I cannot go on I won't forgive you All you seem to do is laugh and cough 
well, all right, you are unwell, but that's enough. Take your parasitic pain elsewhere. There must be a better audience out there. I won't remember you. You are just a blur. You have no name or face. You don't exist for me at all outside this place. Well, at the start, you sought such promise, gazing lovingly at me. But now that man is texting. Don't you know that I can see? This is not TV. Tragedy may we. This time I mean it. There is nothing you can do to win me back. We have found ourselves trapped in a cul-de-sac. You could have made me very happy if you had played your part. But thanks to you, we all have had to suffer for my art. How you break my heart. I never loved you. It was just a crazy, wild one-night stand. But I hope that as you leave, you understand that I was worth it. And you know that you'll be back again for more. But I've sung the final chorus. It's the last page of the score. We have nothing left in common. You are chalk and I'm rock four. We have no rapport. God, this is a bore. I'm walking out the door. There is no Um, in France, we never do an encore. We don't even have a word for it. <laughs> but um, since you beg me, um, people, you know, it's very hard to be this unhappy all the time. It hurts a lot. It's very tough. It's a lot to, to keep going with. And um, I really have tried everything to be happy. I mean, I'm at the Edinburgh Finch, for God's sake. It's the happiest place in the whole world. And, um, there is one thing that I have never tried in my life. Uh, it's uh, something a lot of performers do. I think it's very cheap and common and beneath me, and it makes me feel physically sick even thinking about it. Do you want me to try it? Yes. You don't even know what it is. <laughs> in my whole career, I have never had... In my whole career, I... In my whole career, I have never had a sing-along. Would you sing along with me? Ouais. Voilà, je suis bouleversée. Vous êtes très très gentil. Il faut m'excuser. I only speak French when I'm happy. Euh, voilà, comment ça marche? Euh, les paroles, c'est quoi en anglais? Les paroles. Le, le quoi? The word, the word of the song, come on, like the word of the God. Okay, so the, the words, I teach you the words, les paroles, and uh, you um, repeat back. Well, uh, la la, la 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 la, la 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 la, c'est le pute, voilà, vas-y. <laughs> Très bien. Uh, <coughs> C'est le pute, it's a little argo, slang, it means little flower, en français. Uh, bon, bah, for the intelligent people, you will know uh, when to sing. For the stupid people, I really can't help you. <laughs> voilà. Bon courage, bon courage, bon courage, bon courage, bon courage, merde. On a boulevard in gay Paris, two singers, they shared a pitch. They sang an old song in harmony till one of them turned into a bitch. The backstabbing Trump became a star, her old friend remained unknown. Forsaken, rejected, she beat au revoir and sang the old song all alone. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Sale pute. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Sale pute. Voilà, 
about 50% of you are intelligent. I can't speak for the people in the audience. Two more chances. Rejected by France to London, she fled a city without any culture. But when she sang, they threw fruit at her head and swooped down on her like a vulture. The evil cock and he's kicked at her. Her voice, they said, was a drone. While dirty street children peeked at her, she still sang her song all alone. La 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 la, la fantastic! La 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 la, sale pute! La 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 Finally free from her tragic pain, drunk on the love of the crowd. The audience begged her to sing once again, and they all sang her song very loud. La 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 la, fantastic! La 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 la, sale pute! La 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 la, la 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 la, la sale pute! Big finish! La la. weird. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, oh, no. I don't normally do this bit. Thank you so much. Wow, we haven't done the show for a couple of years and it was very nice to find people still wanted to watch it. Uh, a big thank yous to say, a uh, huge thank you to Gillian Van from JP Productions who found me in a crappy little tiny venue about four years ago and have been very loyal and given me loads of work and have put this together with Highbrow, so your whole team and everybody working here. So a huge round of applause for everybody at JP Productions and Highbrow as well. <laughs> And especially to Sarah and Dom, who are upstairs, who've been doing sound and lights and stuff. Thank you so much. Um, also, a massive, massive thank you. Massive thank you to Michael Rulston, who is my co-writer on all the songs, apart from two, which were written with uh, Richard Link. So thank you to them as well. I know Michael's watching in Covent Garden. So, Michael, wherever you are, hello. Well done. Well done. Crazy. Uh, uh, I, I did just want to um, thank... Uh, well, not thanks, sorry. There were two original directors as well, Tamara Harvey and Richard Hurst, so thank you to them. Um, I, the reason why I've come out as myself uh, at the end is because um, it's quite a big day for me today. Uh, I met somebody very, very special, and um, uh, they're here tonight watching the show, and uh, it's the first time they've ever seen me perform, so it's a bit scary. Uh, so I wanted to take this opportunity with the nation watching uh, to uh, dedicate a song to them. Um, they're obviously not expecting the song. So if the person next to you goes a little bit red, then you'll know who it is. But don't look at them and point, because that would be horrible. Thank you very much. You're my one night stand And I hope you understand That although I say I love you when I kiss you in the morning when you've left me, I won't miss you. You're my short, sharp screw. It's not romantic, but it's true. And although I come like crazy and I scream and beg for more, your name will be forgotten when I've shoved you out the door. But sometimes I get hungry for that extra touch of care. Someone to invade my space while pulling at my hair. A man to tell me pretty lies and hold me all night long. Someone I can criticize and tell him when he's wrong. You're my fuck buddy. And that is fine with me. I won't pretend
pretend I like your family or invite your point of view. I don't care where your scars come from, and I really don't love you. But the sex is great. Thank you so much for me and for the girls as well. We really love you for coming. Thank you so much.